to Wells Fargo Cashwise Visa Card for sponsoring today's episode. Steven, who's on their way here? Mr. Kate and Joey. Mr. Kate and Joey and Moon. I can't believe it. You know, we're supposed to leave in a couple hours here, so. We're yeah. literally just finishing up cleaning this room for you guys. Oh, so we're like down to the last second and then we'll be off. I picked something that could be like chill, not too hard. Cause the whole point of your baby moon is to relax. You guys are cool if we have a party like every night, right? Oh yeah, of course. Cool. Wheels <laughs> in the back, barbecue, <laughs> rage on. Sounds good. Yeah. Right, yeah. Oh gosh. The pressure's on. <laughs> Get out of here. coming over today we're doing an epic room if you're new to our channel this is our makeover series where we make over the homes of other youtubers yeah. so today's really special because we are going to the house of sierra aka schultzy and her husband steven <gasps> let's meet them hi i'm sierra schultzy this is my husband steven i make videos about fashion and body confidence and then we also vlog together I've been watching Mr. K videos for like years. <laughs> and the fact that they are gonna come do a makeover on our house, our baby room. Yeah, the fact that we're gonna go from an empty room to our first child's nursery, insane. It's nuts. <laughs> you guys actually made this happen because I tweeted forever ago, who do you guys wanna see us work with? from the YouTube world, and Schultze was like one of your top recommendations, and this, it's now happening. The way we met was at Disneyland, and the reoccurring theme in our life is this concept of Disney. It's always meant so much to us, and it's been our like place to escape, and I don't know, just having so much fun, and then imagining bringing a little one to the world. Disney was, we wanted to make Disney a big part of that. Yeah, so we're we're thinking some like whimsical, magical, fantasy land, artsy Disney touches in the nursery because that's always been a huge part of our life and hopefully will continue to be a big thing for our, our family. The big kind of question for us with deciding on a nursery was where to put it because our yes. bedroom is downstairs and so we want to be on the same floor as baby yep. girl but there are no other bedrooms downstairs. <laughs> all the other bedrooms are upstairs, and right now they're all office space. Yeah. So. The big part of that was we have this, we call it the bonus room downstairs. It's where we had our exercise bike and our old crappy futon. So we threw up a wall, put in a door, and now it's just an empty room. So with this downstairs bonus room now being closed off, ready to become a nursery, it's it's a pretty big room, it's pretty spacious. So we're hoping that we can use it for not only a nursery, but kind of a nursery playroom combo. A dedicated space for playtime, you know, sleep time, everything. Yeah. So we definitely want to infuse the spirit of Disney into this nursery. However, specifically, they don't want like logos and characters and stuff everywhere. It's more so like, paying homage to like what Walt Disney set up. We're gonna, like, we're gonna be Imagineers. We're gonna be Imagineers. Today. Like just the fantasy element. I'm calling it like a fairy fantasy room, but not like on the nose fairy with like tendrils dripping everywhere. Cause they still want it to be a modern clean space. Don't worry, Sierra, Steven. We have our best painter on the job. <laughs> Let's hope we tarped well. <laughs> So first and foremost, we gotta pick a wall color. Now I'm sampling a bunch of different mint colors in there because I wanna do just a beautiful, cool mint, not too bright and intense, but also not too passive. And sampling a color is key. You guys have heard me talk about this before. If you're gonna go all one color in a room, sample first because it can look really different in the store, on the swatch, and then in your room. Try turning on a light as well when you're sampling so you see the color both in daylight and in artificial light. 
Okay, so this cool mint color is perfect. Sierra and Steven are having a girl. They said they do want moments of pink in the room, but they don't want it to be like an explosion of girly pink. So we're having an equal representation of color throughout the space. And the big key feature moment in the space is going to be this mural that I'm gonna create on the back wall. Okay, so the idea with this mural is creating sort of a fairy village, but kind of modern with cleaner lines, not a lot of moss and things because we still want to make this baby friendly. And these houses will stand a little bit off the wall. We'll do sort of a gradient. Some will stand off a little bit more than others. And some things will just be painted directly onto the wall. And then to make it really obvious that this is a tiny village, we're going to do some oversized things like an oversized mushroom or two and some oversized flowers coming down from the top. Hey, where are you going with my roller? What? Where are you going? Excuse me, sir. Joey and Kate DIY here. Steven, yes. do the honors. All right, DIY fairy leaves mobile. M mobile? Mobile. Mobile. Yes. <laughs> okay, we have yarn. We have, this must be like the top poop. Ooh. This is the example one she made us. Oh, cute. Okay, so we're just stringing different of these little puff balls and the beads and the yes. florals. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. I'm gonna do two blue and a pink. You know I've never held like a sewing needle before. Really? I used to sew all the time with my grandma. Check it out! I strung my first little puff ball successfully. Oh, yours is cute. Oh, careful with that needle. <laughs> okay. Are you gonna put any leaves on yours? I was gonna have you hot glue my balls. <laughs> <laughs> our DIY project all done. <laughs> I'm really happy with it. I'm like proud of us. <laughs> now we just gotta figure out how to get it home without getting it all in knot. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> wanted to quickly tell you about today's sponsor. It is the Wells Fargo Cash Wise card. We are all juggling so many things these days from creative projects to working to trying to stay healthy to schooling for ourselves or our little ones or both to tackling odds and ends around the house. So when we heard about the Wells Fargo CashWise Visa card, we knew we should tell you guys about this. What I love most about the CashWise card is that it offers 1.5% cash rewards on nearly every purchase, which is perfect for home improvement projects. And that's not all. Eligible card customers who spend $500 within the first three months of having the account can earn $150 cash rewards bonus. Plus, new card customers may qualify for a low intro APR for the first 15 months. There's a lot of benefits to using a cash wise card and obviously there's no better time to focus on your future than the present. We all need to set goals to get to where we are going and Wells Fargo is a trustworthy bank that has your back. So click the link in the description to find out more information about the Wells Fargo cash wise visa card. It is wellsfargo.com slash cash wise five terms apply. All right, we are back at Sierra and Steven's house and this day is a big day because we are going to get the mural going now. Sierra and Steven have textured walls in their entire house and you know, that's great because like it conceals a lot of dings, but for painting a mural on textured walls, you're gonna see this sort of wavy line if I try to paint directly onto the wall. So our solution for that is using plywood. And I actually wanted to do this anyways because I want there to be a 3D element, especially to the houses, because in a couple of the houses, I wanna put some little lights. I got a soy-based 
plywood so that it doesn't have a bunch of nasty chemicals in it. It's just a greener product, better for everyone's health. And we are going to cut it with a jigsaw, cut the shapes out, sand the edges where we need, and then paint all the pieces. All right guys, so here's what I'm thinking for the depth. I have these uh, pieces of one by two, and I'm gonna use those as steps for my depth of the house. So basically, the mountains over here will be flush against the wall, and they'll roll into the baseboard. And then the homes will start just in front of the baseboards, so the furthest house, house back would be against the baseboard, and I'll use these one by two to sort of space the homes out. So they'll be like 3D in this corner. So I was really specific about the color palette that I wanted for this mural, and I planned it all out, obviously, ahead of time, and we got little quart size and sample sizes. started with our back pieces because the mural just inherently has kind of like a tiered look to it with the mountains in the background and then the houses in the front. I'm like so excited about this mural. I love that we kept it simple with the shapes. It has that kind of like fairy fantasy vibe while also kind of being very like Disney magical inspired while also still being very like clean and kind of modern looking. I love how these cutout windows happen. We went back and forth about using maybe like some dollhouse windows and I just knew that they would be too like perfect looking. I really wanted them to have like almost like a childlike look to them like as if they were almost drawn by a kid. So we got this frosted plastic and the plan is to cut out pieces and just hot glue it onto the back. We are using the Gorilla Glue hot glue because I just want to make sure these are really nice and stuck on tight. It's still a fairy fantasy and still very like imagination based and magical while also being baby safe. Okay. Oh my gosh, okay. So cute, so this is amazing storage for them. Yeah. Like these bins down below, you can, they can just chuck stuff. I even have some baskets too to place so they're gonna have plenty. Mm -hmm. Even though they don't even have any toys now, I got a couple to style in here. So now the question is how should we place this in relation to the sconces. Like, since there is no overhead lighting in this room, this was a really great opportunity for us to use plug-in sconces. And I went with a brass color because I wanted to bring that contrast with the warm metal against the mint. So this castle is going to go in between them. So it's kind of like the little crown on these two bookshelves. Rather than painting this castle, I thought it would be really fun to decoupage it. So I am painting some watercolors on just some watercolor paper. I also mixed all the colors that I'm using with some white watercolor paint as well to paint them like a little bit more pastel. And then another trick that's really great is if you take like a tissue or a toilet paper and dab it on all of the wet areas and that lifts off some of the paint and gives you that really kind of stippled, organic look that almost looks like tissue paper in a way. So the plan is now I am ripping off pieces of the watercolor that I did and decoupaging it with Mod Podge onto the cut out wood castle. So I'm just using a foam brush, 
I'm really laying down the Mod Podge nice and thick so that it will really adhere this thick watercolor paper and just layering the pieces over and getting that really kind of like rainbow effect that just looks so cool and I think that this is just a really fun easy project. park for a little afternoon fun with Moon and I have one more project I'm gonna work on while we're here. It is a piece of art. When I asked Steven and Sierra if there was anything specific about Disneyland or Disney that they love, they said that the Peter Pan ride actually was very close to their hearts. So this quote from Peter Pan is, think of the happiest things, it's the same as having wings, which I just love. I feel like it is so indicative of just childhood in general. Which, so I'm just gonna keep it simple, it's just gonna be the quote written in the black ink, and then a little silhouette of a fairy, like Tinkerbell-esque, but just keeping it really simple. Moon is helping paint, and I've got the quote written out. <laughs> he wants to make sure you guys see his painting. and Steven, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. They're on their way back from their baby moon. Of course, Joey and I have a lot of work to do to just pull the room together. I wanted these oversized flowers to be coming down to just give you the idea of the scale of the houses. And I also just love that it creates that much more of a you know, 360 degree experience of this mural that they're kind of coming down from the top and it's really cool that this mural isn't just on this wall, it's like a whole L-shaped mural. Because why not? Whoa! Wait, are you controlling that from your phone? That's so cool. It's Party City! <laughs> What's this city called? We need to give the city a name. A part of making this village whimsical is going to be making sure there's some light coming out of the windows. To light it up, we're gonna run a LED strip that they can control from their phone. They can select the color they want coming out, the brightness, they can turn it on and off. So the, here's what I'm thinking, because the outlet's right here. Mm -hmm. So like, obviously we don't want to seal access to that. Yeah. So. One of the hinge there. Tiny little hinge! <laughs> For the doorknobs, we're just cutting down a three quarter inch dowel rod and we're making sure that it's glued plus screwed. We don't want any loose choking hazards in this room. Woo! Oh my God, it's so cute! Okay, so I love how this crib color is like so similar to this back here. It like integrates the crib into the mural. Yeah. So over the rocking chair and the crib area, we're actually gonna hang a swag light. They don't have any overhead junction boxes in this room, so we're just gonna throw up a swag hook, cord kit, a nice round light over the reading chair, and yeah, it's gonna add a lot of light and a lot of style to the space. does cover up a little bit of the mural but I knew that was going to happen and I planned for the front mountain to kind of be the same color as the crib so the crib just feels integrated in it and this room is going to be flexible she is gonna grow up in this room and they're gonna change out the crib to like a big girl bed and hopefully put the head board against um, that mural wall which will look so cool so the houses just can kind of peek up around it so obviously this we, right now we have to we put this brown paper on just in case they got home before we had these installed so they couldn't look at them. And when they don't want them, they can do like this. A little, a little sash. Yeah, the little sash. The little cinch in the middle so, sash. So we just need to install this down here. We went back and forth with Sierra and Steven when they were installing the doors as to whether to put solid doors or French doors with glass, and I had recommended French doors with glass because I just think it's a nice option to have if they ever want to make that room into an office and they want it to feel just more open. But right now that it is a nursery, it's going to be nice to control the light with some curtain panels on there. So I chose these white blackout 
uh, French door, curtain panels. Which the other good reason we have those two is because we have the Stella futon. So if they ever have guests staying in here and this becomes like a fully private guest room. Yellow. The yellow door? You want to open it? Okay. Okay, I don't think it's attached yet. Dad has still got to glue it. Oh, did the doorknob come off? What the? It was taped on? What kind of janky? What kind of janky? We haven't installed that one yet. <laughs> These were all like normal size. <laughs> I have so many really small books. Look, it's a blender. You like to make smoothies, huh? Orange! Oh, no, orange! You wanna make a smoothie? Yeah, there you go. Pour it in, good job. room is odd in that the French doors are set at kind of an angle. I didn't want to have the rug so close that the doors bump into it. So we're setting the rug back a bit towards the crib area. Ugh, what, do you think? what do you think? Oh my god, Moon is so cute rug cuddling right now. He's like, my parents are weird, but <laughs> this is what we do in our family. We cuddle on rugs in other people's rooms. <laughs> The futon we are using is one of our beautiful Stella futons from our new furniture line, the Mr. Kate furniture line. You can shop it everywhere. What the? Cool! It is a beautiful tan linen. I ended up going with one of our more neutral toned sofas. We do have some really amazing colorful ones as well, just because I wanted to keep the furniture a little bit more neutral so that the mural could really shine. All right, so we are anchoring everything in this room. We're making it super baby safe. The bookshelves are anchored to the wall. The dresser's anchored to the wall. This mirror is anchored to the wall. Just using some heavy duty picture wire in the back, making sure it's in a stud. It has the leaned look, but it's still not gonna be able to be pulled off the wall. We just want this to be really baby safe in here. This looks so good. Oh my gosh, they did such a cute job. It's perfect. It's so magical and it has like all the colors of the mural. I love it. Good job, Sarah Steven, with your baby moon homework <laughs> assignment. And then this mirror I think is so cute. I love that we have the arched top. Yeah. And obviously this is because Sierra requested to have a full length mirror in here because I'm sure it's going to be good for like selfies. I mean, let's be honest. Good job. Link mirror is good for I love this room. I love it so much. Kind of kind of makes me feel like we need another one. Oh, okay. We'll talk about we'll that. We'll go get working on that. All right, let's reveal it so we can go get started. Okay, no, Joey. But it's time to reveal the room to Sierra and Steven. Sierra has actually been vaccinated. They have both been tested. We've both been tested. We're still just still in this thing, so we're still doing our part by just staying outside the room. We're gonna be in the window being creepers to watch the reveal. We're about to see our nursery playroom. You know, this is a room that not only is gonna be for a baby girl, but that we're gonna spend so much time in. Yeah, and no. it's just been a big question mark. The whole time we've been prepping for baby and getting ready, I don't know what it's gonna look like. <laughs> All, right. All right, we're so, social distancing over how, here. 
Okay, what? keep coming. Are you touching me through yeah, first? Yeah, okay. first. So then you're not. Okay, keep walking, keep walking. Probably stop right there. Guys, we're so excited for you. I know. This is the most magical time of your lives. This is the calm before the storm. And <laughs> it's so fun to have like just a cozy, fun room for your baby. And we put a lot of love and good vibes into it and we just wish you all the best. And um, on, on that note, let's count to three, right? And remember what it looked like before. It's a village. <laughs> a really magical mural that your baby, little baby girl could grow up with. This could, you know, stay here up until her big girl bed could be put against there too. Yeah. The lights, you can control those by your phone and change the colors oh, inside actually the lights houses. Behind there. Yeah. Holy crap, look at that. <laughs> it's insane. I can't believe this is like a real room. Oh it, it's gosh. ours. <laughs> it's purposely very whimsical because it's supposed yeah, to be sort no, of it's... that, you know, Fairy tale land. Yeah. Beautiful, you guys. You guys did such a good job on your mobile. Yes. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah. You did yeah. Oh my god. We had so much fun with it. The whole oh, time good. we were doing it, Stephen was like, this is fun. I've never done arts and crafts with you. Yeah, that was my first time holding a sewing needle. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, welcome. Is this that is... the couch from your furniture line? Yes. Yeah. Ow! So it folds back uh, into a bed. So we still have the futon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So it's, it's a little bit more of a sophisticated futon though. And then you have your French curtains on the door, so when you want oh, to wow. have it fully closed, you just take off the sashes. And then obviously- I love the color of the walls too. Yay! I love <laughs> the little castle cut out. Yay! Oh, yeah, so I painted gosh. the watercolor on paper and then tore it up and decoupaged it onto the castle. You guys, like every expectation I had, like, a thousand times it. Like, oh this my is gosh, amazing. <laughs> we got you that, that like really nice floor length mirror. And these two rugs, are like so, I mean, feel this one, it's so soft. You can, if, yeah. you, if you can bend. You guys are gonna be, you guys are oh, gonna be. Oh, it's very soft. Isn't it soft? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sorry, I made you do that. <laughs> you guys are gonna be spending a lot of time on, on the, the floor. Rug, so. yeah. That's obviously a recliner too. So that's like a good like yeah, nursing chair nice. and lounging <laughs> chair. She's like, you said recliner, I'm getting in there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now you gotta recline it more. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, there you go, there you go. <laughs> God, I feel like I was gonna fall. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to be right, you ready for you it. I love the colors of this room. It is just so beautiful and welcoming, and it's that perfect balance of whimsical Disney magic and like a beautiful, chic, artsy room. Yeah, and so one of the biggest things about this for me, as a partner of Sierra's, was that you know this has been a pandemic pregnancy. So, you know, our time with friends and family has like been virtually non-existent, very little. And we didn't have a baby shower, which I know for you was a huge deal. A lot of this pregnancy has been different than I had always imagined. And I don't know, getting this like <laughs> amazing, beautiful nursery and this big dramatic reveal, it's like this is the 
the big thing, the big surprise that we get. And now, now we're ready for baby. Yeah. It's been an adventure. It's been fun. Yeah. <laughs> God. And thank you guys for uh, trusting us with your space. Thank, uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you did all this. All we uh. did is go to Tahoe. <laughs> As a longtime viewer of the channel, being able to now step on this side of the screen and actually get my own Mr. Kate masterpiece is a dream come true. So thank you so much, Kate yeah. and Joey and the whole crew. Wow. Yeah. I'm so glad we did the window doors because this room's so pretty, I want it to be like <laughs> open all the time. Yeah, yeah all the time. It. Yeah. Thank right. you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank, you. You Aw, thank you. All right. Bye, Bye guys. Enjoy. Bye. Mm. I love you. I love you. I can't believe we have a nursery fantasy magical, <laughs> whimsical <laughs> Mr. Kate masterpiece. <laughs>